Tomorrow is my big day and I need to sleep now. What is the time? Damn it! It's already 12 and I'm not asleep yet. Come on, sleep. Wait, why did my Instagram picture had only 4 likes? Why did she just put a thumbs up? What did that person mean when he gave me that funny look? Hey, I'm trying to sleep here. Okay, if I calm my mind, I think I'll fall asleep. Oh my god, I'm trying to sleep. It's fine. I'll just turn it off. It's okay, it's almost 1am and I need to wake up at 7am. It's fine if I can get a full 6 hours of sleep, then I'm good. And doing these, finally you fall asleep around 4am and by the time the alarm rings at 7am, you wake up with a headache and at a sleep deprived state. Even though you're chronically exhausted, you find it hard to fall asleep at night. Humans spend roughly a third of their lives sleep. And it turns out sleep is all about the brain and contrary to opinion the brain doesn't shut down when we are asleep instead what our brain does is it it goes to a higher degree of synchrony in the firing of neurons across the cortex sleep plays a very important role in our life and it actually cleans our brain it helps us remove the toxins simply put our brain is quite compact and only when we sleep the brain cells themselves seem to shrink opening up the spaces in between them allowing fluids to rush through and allowing the waste to be cleared out. The waste product that gets cleared out is called amyloid beta and is linked to cell death in the brain causing particular problems with memory and rare diseases not to mention weight gain. So as you can see sleep is a basic need and of all of our activities it has an incredible restorative function for the mind. It is an elegant design solution so that the brain meets its high demand and the narrow margins. So now that we know how important sleep is, how can we solve our sleeping problem? Is it the sleeping pills? Well, maybe, temporarily. But human body grows tolerant, so where would you stop? Single dose, double dose, or triple? The key here is rhythm. We can trick our brain to fall asleep rather than using external chemicals. That being said, it is quite hard to switch off our worrying minds, our tumbling minds where so much things happens. First is brain tapping. Our brain notices a pattern and tries to connect with it and then it begins to follow it. So take it slowly because you cannot train something in a matter of a day. We can't just magically assume we'll fall asleep after being worried and playing with our most favorite gadget, mobile phone or computer. So we need to completely embrace our sleep as a culture. We need to dim the lights and develop a nighttime routine slowly. Push anything away that have a screen on it 30 to 45 minutes before we go to bed and try not to look at it until we wake up in the next morning because a digital screen produces blue light with a very high energy and these streams of photons causes digital eye strain and raises symptoms like dry eyes and redness or headaches. Also, every time we swipe up our Facebook or Instagram post, we actually get a surge of dopamine in our brain and that surge of dopamine keeps us awake by telling our brain not to secrete melatonin yet as it is not time to sleep. The factor that determines you should sleep or wake up is the circadian rhythm. Melatonin is the hormone that makes us fall asleep where cortisol is released when we are awake. Next is the understanding of our chronotype. So there are primarily three types of us. The early bird, the hummingbird, and then there is the night owls. Interestingly, our hormones works on a schedule which is based on our chronotypes. So if you are a night owl and trying to live a life of an early bird, then melatonin is still circulating in your brain. Obviously, you won't be able to perform well in your job. So try to figure out the timing of the day to do something which can be activities such as eating, taking caffeine, exercises, or intimacy as well. So try to figure out your chronotype and adjust your activities. Here's an example. 
We can also try that 4 to 8 second breathing technique where you inhale for 4 seconds and exhale for 8 seconds. Again, you need to train your brain to get used to the rhythm to fall asleep and don't try to break your rhythm by looking at your gadgets or else it will be a total waste. You have to stop that urge to look at the screen. So to summarize, avoid any device that has a screen and try to keep yourself from it 30 to 40 minutes before your bedtime. Keep any device that produces microwaves away from your proximity. Know your chronotype and fix your routine. Try to train your brain with a rhythm to fall asleep and stick to your rules. Try working out and then apply the previous methods. One last thing is try not to use the alarm. But if you have to, then set your alarm not too early so that you will wake up and keep on incrementing it by 5 minutes, which actually will give you a bad headache. Rather, set it so that you will have a quality sleep. So let us take off that badge of honor that I get only 3-4 to four hours of sleep and I can still function perfectly and actually get 7-8 to eight hours of quality sleep. And that concludes our video. If you like my video, please press the like button and sub if you liked it. Also make sure to hit the bell and I hope you guys get a good sleep.